The focus of week four has been on all things risk related. It is a good reminder that risks are inevitable and need to be dealt with throughout the project lifecycle. It is important to monitor and review risk throughout your project. The risk management process supports the ongoing nature of the monitor and review activity. It is worthwhile to touch on three of the key risk management activities. The first is a risk identification activity which requires a good deal of what if scenario building. The objective here is to identify a possible situation or event that may occur that will create uncertainties and challenges affecting the deliverables of a project and ultimately causing its failure. Risk identification should review a range of categories, which can emanate from both the internal or external environment the business operates in. Economic, organizational, political, technological, environmental, and legal are all potential categories to consider when identifying risks that may impact on your project. In addition, you should also think how the emergence of one risk might lead to risks in other categories or areas of your project. The next risk-related activity is undertaking a risk assessment. Risk assessment involves assessing the likelihood of the risks that we have identified, as well as the possible consequence if that risk should eventuate. By following a risk assessment process, a project manager should be able to identify factors that may contribute to the risk and the actions necessary to reduce, control or eliminate the risk. The risk response activity considers an appropriate risk response to the risk you have identified and assessed. Ideally, the best response would be to avoid the risk entirely. However, uncertainty and risk are part and parcel of most projects and remain variables that need to be managed. If the project risk cannot be avoided, we need to consider other appropriate risk responses, such as reducing, which means limiting the likelihood or severity of the impact of the risk, accepting the risk where the cost of managing the risk is acceptable, or transferring the risk, which is shifting the risk from one party to another.